Merry Bowl season, everyone. I'm Brett Gibbons with TheLines.com, and today we're breaking down the Fenway Bowl between Cincinnati and Louisville. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Lines YouTube channel as we're here breaking down all 41 bowl games this postseason, plus the national championship. But let's get into it. The Fenway Bowl between Cincinnati and Louisville. This game takes place Saturday, December 17th at 11 a.m. Get those bets in on time. This one might sneak up on you. Broadcast on ESPN. The Cardinals, one and a half point favorites over under of just 39 and a half and a falling number. Going to explain why here in a minute. This one's played, as the name suggests, in Fenway Park. It's an interesting layout. If you can go find the photo on Twitter, I retweeted it on my Twitter at Road to CFB. Feel free to follow. Uh, you can also find Louisville as low as uh, minus one, as high as minus two. This number has flip flopped because there's a lot going on here. This game is all sorts of weird. Cincinnati hired Scott Satterfield to be their new head football coach. They hired Satterfield away from Louisville, who they are playing. So that's an interesting note there. He will not be coaching. He won't even be in attendance. But it is something to note that that's some extra motivation for the Cardinals. Louisville, though, is without star quarterback Malik Cunningham, who actually was in and out of the lineup this season due to injury. His backup, Brock Doman, uh, he played four games this year, majorly four games this year, where the team went two and two. Uh, there are two losses, though, to Clemson and Kentucky. So two respectable losses. Doman played decent, not outstanding, but good enough to carry Louisville to wins. They're also going to be without their top corner and their top receiver in this game. So please note the many opt outs because Cincinnati also has a lot. Most of them coming on defense. JQ Hardaway, a couple of defensive backs, linebackers hit the transfer portal and will not play in this game. However, Ivan Pace, All-American linebacker, will play. He's a game wrecker. Do note that their leader on defense will play in this game. The Cincinnati's also without their top two receivers. Starting quarterback Ben Bryant's injured. He probably won't play. So we're going to get a look at Evan Prater again. He played decent against Tulane in the American Championship, but he made some really uh, inexperienced errors. So uh, mistakes that inexperienced players make like him, uh, you know, sliding down before he reaches the first down, some errant throws, bad reads, missed guys, uh, things like that, that come with inexperienced quarterbacks. So we can probably expect a little bit of that here in a second start. Kerry Coombs, defensive coordinator. He is going to be the interim head coach for this game. He comes from Ohio State. However, do note that he was relieved of play calling duties at Ohio State. And now he's handed the keys to this program for the bowl game for Cincinnati. If you're going to bet Cincinnati, you may as well just bet them outright at this point. Uh, it's always better to bet money line on these underdogs in bowl games. Anyway, an interesting stat from Chris Felica that uh, I saw here was 36% of all bowl games result in an outright win by an underdog. You can find that in our Discord. It was sent over to us in the Discord. Uh, I'll talk about that here in a second, but please join our Discord for good things like that. So it, yeah, if you're going to bet Cincinnati, just bet them outright. We're looking at a low point total, which means there's low expected variance in this game, tight point spread. There's really no value in taking Cincinnati plus one and a half. I don't even think there's really that much value in taking Cincinnati plus two. But ultimately, Louisville just has more players at their disposal, more players ready to play. Guys that have played this year, uh, Louisville has more of them, even if Malik Cunningham isn't in the lineup. Uh, and they're also under 20% picked in confidence bowl pools. They're one of my favorite contrarian picks just because of such a tight point spread. They have one of the higher expected win rates among uh, underdogs. Well, actually, <laughs> they're favorites. But if you look at the pick rate, uh, they are the underdog in this uh, case. So I'm picking Louisville in my bowl confidence pools. I know there's not a lot of time left to get them in. But again, if you're going to bet Cincinnati, bet them outright. I think Louisville's the better team. I think they have more available players in this one. But as mentioned, if you wanted that interesting nugget of uh, the 36% outright wins in bowl games, hop on over to our Discord. You can connect with over 4,000 sports betting fans, get live updates in our college football server. If you click on the role server, drop an emoji under my name, and then all of a sudden you will get uh, live updates for my bets. You will get push notifications to your phone for my bets if you drop uh, an emoji under my name in the roles server. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lines YouTube for daily bowl videos. Comment which side you lean. This one's going to have a lot of variance in it because it's a tight point spread, a lot of stuff going on. Who do you think is going to win this Sickos game, this interesting bowl game played at Fenway Park here? But thank you always for watching. I'm Brett Gibbons and have a very merry bowl season.